Welcome to the MIDI Engine Broadcasters version 2.0 tutorial, an Epic Mega Grants awarded MIDI plugin for Unreal Engine 5. This tool lets you import a MIDI file and broadcast its events to actors in sync with an audio track. It's essentially the base for creating different types of rhythm games. This is an advanced version of the MIDI Engine Core plugin, also on the Epic Marketplace. Let's get started. First, we need to import two essential files a MIDI file and the audio file that will be playing and synced with the MIDI file. For your convenience, the example content contains a sample MIDI file and audio file for you to follow along with. Now let's go through the example content together. Open the Blueprints folder and in there you'll find some blueprints. Open the Broadcaster MIDI Listener Blueprint so that we can explain the concept of broadcasting and listening for MIDI events. I want to draw your attention to the two crucial components of the system. The MIDI broadcaster component and the MIDI listener component. Add both of them to any actor you like. The MIDI broadcaster is essentially a player for a MIDI file that will broadcast the MIDI events from that file to other actors or listeners. To use it, call the start broadcast function. Then choose the MIDI asset you want to play, and the audio file that should play along with the MIDI asset. Now that we're broadcasting, we need to now take a look at listening for MIDI events. The MIDI listener component basically listens for events that are broadcast by a MIDI broadcaster. It has a few events that will get fired as the MIDI file is playing. Let's take a look at the on MIDI note on event. Every time a MIDI note begins, this event fires up. Now, there might be loads of notes coming from various MIDI tracks. But no worries, we can sort them out using the details the event gives us. For instance, we decide what to do based on which MIDI track the note is from. If it's from the kick track, we do one thing. If it's from the snare track, we do something else. The switch node helps us with that. Let's look at how we handle them individually. For the kick, we have a function that takes our static mesh component, the sphere, and moves it to a random location. For MIDI notes from the snare track, we are going to use them to trigger scaling our object up and down. For the lead pluck track, we are simply going to set our sphere's color to a randomly generated color. We do this by use of dynamic material instances. Now let's connect all of them and the object should react differently depending on which track a playing note belongs to. MIDI Engine Broadcasters is a pretty powerful tool with a lot of features and we've been perfecting it for over a year. Whether you're into rhythm games or audio reactive scenes, we've added features that'll make your projects pop. It's been used to create many different audio reactive experiences in Unreal Engine 5 with more to come. We even have add-ons for it for different scenarios. It's very fast and has a lot of settings you can change. If you want a heads up before a MIDI note plays, you can adjust the MIDI file playhead for an early alert. Maybe you need more playheads or want to use several broadcasters and listeners. No problem, and it won't slow down your performance. Interested in syncing with Metasounds? Keep an eye out for the MIDI Engine Metasounds plugin and its how to guide. Need help or curious about other features? Join our Discord. We're here to support, share ideas, and dive into more details.